there wasn't a plan B. When you have a plan B, it's like you're setting yourself up for a failure in plan A. You know, it's like, it's like you're already kind of set in the field for failure. If there's somebody out there that's not successful or not as successful as they want to be, I can literally have a five minute conversation with them and figure out what, which of the four principles of success they're lacking in. The first is you gotta believe 100%. Most people, most people kind of believe, but they don't really believe. They don't, you know, they're, they're 99.9. .9, and that 0.01% that they don't believe, that's what takes them down. Because peop, people, when you're talking to clients, they can hear that 0.01%. And they know that you you don't believe. They know you're not confident. They know that, and, and you don't know why you're failing, but you know, it all starts right there. You know, do you believe in yourself? 100%, you know, I like to think about it like, I don't really give myself a plan B. You know, I'm kind of like, oh, I, I don't want to go to college so that if this other thing I really want to do doesn't work out, I have something to fall back on. You know, I, I, I dropped out of college and went into real estate and went all in. There wasn't a plan B. When you have a plan B, it's like you're setting yourself up for a failure in plan A, you know, it's like, it's like you're already kind of set in the field for failure. So you gotta believe, you gotta work hard, you have to adapt, and then once you put those three things together, you gotta be patient. And so most people believe, a lot of people do believe, but out of the people that believe, very few also actually work hard. You know, working hard is working hard and doing the things that you need to do behind the scenes when nobody's watching. You know, consistently and holding yourself accountable. Um, you know, people believe very few also work hard. Out of the people that believe and work hard, even fewer also adapt. Adapting is recognizing what works and what doesn't work. You know, tweaking you know, getting rid of things that don't work, testing things out. I'm always trying new things and I'm always failing with new things, but every once in a while I'll hit something, you know, and then when I hit it, I say, okay, there, that's what I was looking for for the last eight months. I finally found that thing I was looking for. Now I'm really gonna go all in with this while I test more things out. Um, so it's all about failing, learning, uh, molding yourself into who you want to be, you know? And then, you know, a lot of people believe, some people also work hard, even fewer adapt. But then it's really, you really have a special person when you have all that put together and then you understand nothing, it's, it's not gonna happen overnight. And you know that what you do on a daily basis, you know, it's like eating a hamburger. You know, you're not gonna, you know, all of a sudden gain 15 pounds, you know, tonight if you eat a hamburger for lunch. But if you eat a hamburger every day for three years, you will gain 15, 20, 25 pounds. It's the same thing with business. You know, if you make, if you do two hours of calls or door knocking or letters or emails or social media or whatever you do to drive business, your business isn't gonna change much today from those two hours of calls and prospecting. But if you do that two hours for three years, you could be the number one agent in your area. You know, it's, a say, it's the same philosophies. And so you have to have faith that what you're doing on a daily basis, even though you don't see the big time rewards, will, will turn into big time rewards over time. And most people just want it right now, you know? So, yeah, yeah. So I can talk to somebody for five minutes, you know, about their business, about their philosophies, about what they think. I can ask them a couple questions. You know, and if they're not successful or not as successful as they want to be, and they're just, you know, banging their head against the wall and trying to figure out what they're doing wrong and why can't I succeed, I can have a five minute conversation with you and tell you, you're either not adapting, you're just doing the same thing over and over again. Maybe you're doing everything right, but you're just not patient. You just need to keep doing what you're doing. It's coming. Or maybe you don't believe. Maybe you got that 0.01% of yourself that you just don't really believe. You know, you believe mostly, but not all the way. You know, or maybe you're not putting in the work. 
Maybe you believe and you doubt pretty good and you're patient, but you're not putting in the work that really needs to be put in and the amount of sheer effort, you know? So, I mean, that that's a general, my general thesis for success.